Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. away now Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of hey, the criminals, Father? we should all be called Come Barbarian. here, girls, now. Father? Can't win 
unfairly at cards, so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. I won't let it go. I say. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Get out of my way! Move it! Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Smith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Oh, no. Keeping up? Shall I call a break? And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch! Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Sir, Sir de la Serre, wait! Nom de Dieu, nom de Dieu, nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. 
A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch him. He must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! Monsieur de la Serre! Excuse, on carriage. Behind me is a bird's eye view. Thank 
Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. Une nouvelle source de bonheur. La dette de l'État est déjà immense à mon avènement au trône. C'est encore la crue de mon règne. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. Get him, Yuko! Easy, big fella. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy! Sir! What are you doing there? Uh, running! He's getting away! <laughs> Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Memoir de Monsieur d'Artagnan, Elise's favorite. Les tragiques. Too depressing. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it. Oh, oh. There. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads. Much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. 
Honor. Le chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Sure, his shoes cost more than my rent. <laughs> you up there! Stop! Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dollars dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, 
everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's in there? Who <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out. It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Monsieur, too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur, Monsieur de la Serre, Monsieur de la Serre, Sylvain, come away. Guards, help! Murder! Killed Lord de la Serre. No, it, it wasn't me. Damien welded the knife. Please, have mercy. Gallia is omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh God, have mercy! That's enough of that, you degenerate. <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Where'd you come by this, pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Defense is as good. 
Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? He's here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. Well, 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Opportunities sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow my lead. Take cover. Prisoners up against the wall. I lose authority. I told you this was going to end badly. Silence. Stay back.
Pesspot. It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! If you can pluck your head out of your own arse, come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, Pisspot! Back away from the ledge! some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father, he wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arno. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. this supposed to mean?
What's happening? Hello? Monsieur de la Serre will see it the instant he returns. If you could pluck your head from your own house, come find us. You made a fine thing. Truly, I am blessed. Such a boy. are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arnold Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world. 
his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. What's the mission? The mission... Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pot. I live to serve. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation? What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Siver. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When a... Murder! Murder! These bastards always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Siver still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Siver is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for our report. Bloody hell! Don't Get him a smoke bomb! Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspop. Well, there's a cheery thought. It's a buzz. Ready to found Mr. Arpinon's body in a courtyard not far from here. Stab through the throat. <laughs> Need a break? I'll still be running when you're dead. Need a break?
Need a break. I can't believe this. We've not seen C there for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose thread. Greetings, citizen. So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. He proceeds to do nothing with it. You don't seem terribly fond of him. He's a politician. Sees himself as a great peacemaker. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boys ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. What's our plan? Our plan? You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. Devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell was Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Siver, I'll meet him inside. Opportunity's everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Did you see the expression on that fat old cleric's face? Priceless. Turned the color of an aubergine. Thought he'd faint with outrage. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Merci. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Who's in there? Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him! Well? What's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? You're all right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sylvain, come away! the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code. Which probably explains why the people here aren't quite here. Hmm, looks like the late 1800s. Now this is a Paris I wouldn't mind visiting. Maybe another time. Right now, you need to get to the exit portal. I can't see a path through though. See if you can find a route underground. The area is becoming unstable. Turn back. You need to get underground. Now! Hurry!
Listen, good. It's an unstable vortex of energy, so there's no telling how it will disrupt the simulation. Like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. I'll do what I can to stop it from closing. See you on the other side. Roi des Thunes, Lieutenant. La Touche. give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Thunes sees in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man... ...has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, oh, no. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien 
Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Someone clap him in iron. Monsieur Latouche, still bringing medical care to the disenfranchised? Your day will come, Liberty. Questions for you. <laughs> How's he a drink maker? Do I know you? Skimmed off the take or some such. Nope. He misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is. Come inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside!
What's the order for the unfortunate in bed six? Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning half the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Layman can't tell the difference. Piss off, you lot. Survive without help.
stop us. Has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It's only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, wait, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. Apprentice brought me the most wonderful gift. Right behind you. I do hope you have some air. Diable. My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sylvia, come away! It is done. Delacere is dead. Grand master. Good.
sir. Just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tubes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, the rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Real. Thank you. Mon chance. Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Halt! There's you, citizen! <laughs> Damn pillock! You can't just bloody do what you put! Damn pillock! I'm going to shoot it!
I'll be. No. Margaret! I know it's you! You is suicide! Monsieur Germain? Silversmith? Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. You've no time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. And we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me then. Stay quiet. Stay there. Let's go. Very well. Keep one eye to the roofs. We often post sentries there as well. Just how important are you as a prisoner? Ah! Stop right there! You're trying to mess a little man! Hold him on that! <laughs> To do anything foolish, let the silversmith go. Stay back. Don't be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Thank 
you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract with a man called a Freniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into the Freniere's background, and what I discovered, you wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I, I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and the Freniere found out about my schemes. Kept me under house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, the Freniere is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago, I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Alloblay. Sounded ominous with every man to so I asked, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. All right, Lafreniere. Where are you hiding? That is a distressingly large number of guns. Lafreniere must be planning something big. Don't even think about lighting a pipe in here. Guns from Bavaria. Hmm. Whatever he's planning, it's big. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. It hardly seems safe just to leave these lying around.
Hide in plain sight. Right. You'll be reinforced before the Master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The instructions are all here. Get to it. I think we should go with them. The Master's elite bodyguards? I think they can handle it. I suppose you're right. I'd better find myself a place to wait before the rest of them arrive. Just the right time. I'll gather up the others. We'll hold position here. Cover your escape if you need it. I love it when the target comes to me. The truth is in peril, my brothers. She is beset on all quarters. Jacobins lay her on the rack, cruelly breaking her to their populist agenda.
right. That's fine. You have done a great service to both France and the Order. We will not forget. The Austrian Reich is always loyal to the true Templar Order. <laughs> if all the Assassin! <laughs> <to> a... <laughs> Getting traitors like you is my ah! noble purpose in life, <laughs> Get it! Stop it! Ah! Then rise, my brother, and be welcome. You don't trust the man, do you? Mirabeau is a good man, an honest man. Mirabeau is a self-aggrandizing drunk. Do not forget who is Grand Master here, Lafreniere. Take this to Grand Master de la Serre immediately. Deliver it to him in person. Yes, Master. Master, we have a problem. Christoph has been feeding information to our enemies. We must assume this location is compromised. We'll have to move up our timetable. Gather the men. We strike Hotel de Beauvais tonight. hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grand Master de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. Unfuck what the hell are you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you suck in the council, I'll you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. 
Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hmm? Yes, Mentor. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? If you're smart, you'll let it lie. What's that supposed to mean? It was a crime worthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think? that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime. How much longer must we wait? I do have other business to tend to. A little bit longer. The Grand Master wants a political change. I trust we'll find any land the meaning behind our business. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn us all at the stake. Tom, you have an idea then? But what? Well, after near is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Unless. That seems convenient. That's the thing. Uh, point them at a Templar. We need an answer, friends. They ask no questions. Go right for the killing. You're predictable that way. <laughs> <laughs> Come, we'll fetch the captain and get started.
finished. Near enough. Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you got an hour left in you? Two at the most. Half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Ah! You heard the weasel, boys? Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. Lay back. Lay back. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the what they do. Oh, Sivir and the war already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbra? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't oh. always be. Oh, stop me! You won't stop Shame me! You won't stop me! Spy! Too slow! Find the spy! Watch Find your me, rat! The spy will be making a run for it. I'll have you dead in your. <laughs> Gotta find you! Wait a moment!
going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go! I'll explain later! Shall we? Let's see. It's Charlo. Oh. Climb up and take a look. Where are they? Find them. How do we get out of here? Get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Cafe Theater. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. You may be a little late. Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins.
Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the raw fare. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that... Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? Honor, Godspeed. My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parley, my arse. It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Vesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. Hello, Arno. That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed La Tournière was... Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue saint antoine Why? What the... Elise? Elise! Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I.
empty. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Please. Don't tell me. It's a trap. You can't shake me! Oh. Well, well. Huh. Look who it is. Uh. Kill her! Uh. Racing. Just like that time in Marseille. A bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see them? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. A handkerchief. 
lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this week's delivery of wine. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs? The weekly wine delivery is quite extensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Do you recognize this handkerchief? Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. It belongs to Emily. Emily? The maid. I'm given to understand she saved up her wages for a month to purchase it. It made her feel like a lady, she told me. And where is Emily now? At the market, sir. Thank you. Of course, sir. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. Cheer, my friend. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? 
murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might add... Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! Slow down! Wait! I just have a few questions. What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Charming place. What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that.
trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. It's all right. I understand. Took you long enough, piss pot. Balak. Should have known it'd be you that find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power. No. Masyaf, Monteregioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, being in peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Balak. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. <laughs> Belek, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with that large boy. Get up. I thought you 
you can think for yourself. I can, Belek. I just don't... <laughs> I've seen Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. Tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Stay there. I should have left you to rot in the Bastille. Tell me, did you ever really believe in the Creed? Or were you a Templar loving traitor from the start? It doesn't have to be this way, Belek. You're the one who's making it so. If you just see sense, we could take the brother into a height we've not seen in 200 years. Yes, killing everyone who disagrees with you is a brilliant way to start your rise from the ashes. So, now we see the heart of it. It's not Mirabeau that's poisoned your mind, it's her. She's the last piece of this god-fucked lunacy. Belek. You'll thank me for this. One day. Listen to me, boy. in one piece. Now we piss pot. Drop this. Well. I'll be damned. 
Hunt. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Chin. Chin. I pause on pay. Here we go again, back inside a mess of broken code. This time, the portal is above you, a few hundred meters. memories are way too dangerous. You need to find a way out. I'll guide you as best I can.
alarm you, but the portal is highly unstable. Damn it, it's gone. Keep going, we can reopen it. That should do it, you'll have to jump. You summoned? Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? is none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the King. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the King's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. Ready? Aim! Fire! Good work. Back to your posts. Quality of rhetoric amongst bloodthirsty rioters these days. Dream that.
fuck it up. Back! Back! Stay away! certainly don't look like a blood-crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. saying very nicely done my friend incredible find your prize a cornucopia yes and you believe so yes this is it. That should take care of that. And may I suggest we leave? Quickly! What is that? Our way out. Cover me, would you? Let's just get him, please. Where did you learn to fight? <laughs> 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 
Let's go. Search everything! I want those documents! Him! Damn! Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours? Persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm not much for following orders. Ah, the bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. A generous offer, but no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. Bonaparte is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery. For now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. A face in the crowd. Of course. What now? Just a moment. You may want to take cover. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Get their weapons. Nobody try anything. Come on, boys! Find me a warden!
keep still. Sons of bitches! Silence! If they try anything, shoot them! You'll go to the guillotine for this. Hands where I can see them! Monsters! You gutless minnow! I'll no rear him! This is inhuman! Halt! What the hell was that? Someone there! Damn traitor! Thank me by getting to the walls and stopping these killings. Oui, monsieur. Fast men! Cut them down! Protect the prisoners! Death to the traitors! Beat them back! Viva oh. Revolution! Steady! Into the breach! Hold oh. that line! Salute! Oh,
warden. Your brother's here to visit. <laughs> but don't you want to see him? Come now, warden. Let's have a cheer. If you have orders to remove us from this hall, you must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but with ministers to govern, to govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Palais de Luxembourg. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Breathe. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's thrown in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hôtel de Ville docks. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Hey! Come back here! You've missed the key, you dolts! Where are you going? Time to chase a boat.
Captain! Did he just... Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh... Yes, madame. Get to work! Well now, didn't just up and vanish now, did you? then. Hmm. What are you up to there? You were right. Marie Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais de Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been hoarding food in a time of famine... Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Help! 
Help! Someone help me! Hand over the powder! What will we do, Michel? If I could only get my hands on that guard. Lovely party. You've outdone yourself this time. Merci. Now pray, excuse me, I need to see to my husband. I told you, Marie. Oui, Maman. Francois Thomas Schirmer, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Boom. The thing speaks to me. No, it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur Le Peltier. Of course, Grand Master. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my... <laughs>
Just one more. Oh, so slow. You're like this. trying to hit me. What did you do back then? It's a long story!
Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it, then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please, I... You cheated. You took too long. I love you. Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention with Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arnold. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De sad. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't... I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Make it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Madame.
poison my customers. I'm sorry, sir. Trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. Wait up. Gone, is he? Right. The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, do we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grand Master. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grand Master. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Bring forth the condemned!
Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah. Tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge. Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Kings, merely a symbol. A symbol can inspire fear. And fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth to Malay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown and church are ground to dust. Who you control the gold will decide the future. Is it Roger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Why the entrance? What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Kill her! Elise, it's time to go. I can handle it. Go off to your mother. Elise, no, Daddy! Pressing concern at the moment. Please! He's gone. Damn it! Our one chance! It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save! What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, 
Then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? Get the hell out of here! But I... Ouch! You've caused enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion.
Oh, Christ. Not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I've seen nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. Get all, boys. Beats rolling farmers for their coppers, eh, lads?
was that? Look at all this. Even the chamber pots are gone. say you were always a bad influence oh you were worse Bag it all, boys. Beats rolling farmers for their coppers, eh, lad? should get back anyway. Oh, this is my patriotic duty!
There's someone there. Chamber pots of gold. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Uh, oh, you were worse. Bastard! I call the silverware! Now are you glad we came here? Diable, is that me? Just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top.
and Arno. Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? for not letting you die. I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Jama has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught.
you've gotten us into now. Shut up in there. So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleeding the revolution dry. For the freedoms you've been given! We have been getting me some boring food. It's no different than stealing it from the mouths of babes! Justice must be done! Justice! Prompt, severe, and inflexible! Bring up the condemned! Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the father of understanding guide you. May the father, father of understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Grand Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. familiar to you. We're back in medieval Paris, late 14th century. You're outside the city walls now. I suggest you find your way back.
falling apart. Find the exit fast. What's all this? Robespierre. He's declared today a festival of the supreme being. A peon to the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. Why does that sound familiar? As far as Templar doctrine goes, it's a loose interpretation. We'll never get close to him in the middle of all this. We'd best retire and wait for a better opportunity. Still thinking like an assassin. This time, I have the thought. Oh? And what would that be? Think like a Templar. Amazing! I thought we were supposed to be what rushing this thinking? snow. Vive Robespierre! Oh my, that's lovely! Bravo! Vive la liberté! The supreme being ain't called for Robespierre. I'll eat my ass! Ridiculous pomp and thinking? circumstance! Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within 10 yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The purges, the supreme being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. Massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make.
Let's see. Incriminating evidence. Incriminating evidence. Publiciste de la Révolution. Maybe something a bit stronger. Monsieur, as you have been the savior of the Republic, I beg you now to be my brother's savior as well. Even now he languishes in prison, arrested by patriots more zealous in their heroism than careful in their methods. No warrant for André's arrest was ever issued, and yet he remains imprisoned in Saint-Lazare under suspicion. I pray you do not recall my brother's writings in the Journal de Paris, coming as they did from an intemperate poet's heart. Rather, I beg you, if my own humble skills have been even the smallest of aid to our glorious revolution, spare my brother. In his writings, I see the burgeoning of France's greatest poet, a light that will shine for all time. Yours in patriotism, Marie-Joseph Chenier. Interesting, but not particularly helpful. That shall honor the supreme being more. Merlin, Tallien, Bourdon. These are all deputies of the National Convention. Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, you should do nicely. In order to raise its thoughts and vows to the great being who gave it the mission to undertake these efforts and the strength to execute them. Did not his immortal hand by engraving in the hearts of men the code of justice and the right hand the death sentence of silence? list of names. Fifty or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. First... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poison of atheism, they can no more tear the world from them. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poisonings of atheism, they can no more tear the world from them. Armed in turn with the daggers of fanaticism and the poison of atheism.
People fear no more their people fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracies. Hey, someone there. They can no more protect. People fear no more their sacrilegious conspiracies. They can no more tear the world from. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the other. We must be generous. Passionate toward the other and inexorable. We must be compassionate toward the good. Generous, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and inexorable toward the evil. We must be generous toward the good, compassionate toward the unfortunate, and inexorable toward the wicked. How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Germain off. Leave that part to me. Thousands go to the guillotine. If you've gone somewhere I'd like to see this, you would choke on his own grief. But what can we do? The world is horrid. The committee stands behind him. Back off! Is it you facing him? In all the way! You may know what you are. I won't give up! I will kill you! You can again raise your hand! Religious conspiracy. They can no more tear the world from the breast of its authors than the rewards of their own hearts. 
Let nature thus regain all its strength and wisdom all its empire. The supreme being is not destroyed. Now, whoever you are, you can again think well of yourself. Let us be generous for those who are good. Fantastic, fortunate, and excellent. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of empire. It is for her. Being a list of enemies of the revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That set the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, he'll be no more use to Germain. And when Germain abandons him... He's vulnerable. Let's go. I got your message. What's going on? We may have gone too far in discrediting Robespierre. What's happened? He's been arrested. What? Heracles, he made big threats about a purge against enemies of the state, and the committee turned on him. They're taking him to Luxembourg prison. He's scheduled for execution in the morning. Now we best get to him first. What in the hell? These men were National Guard. Robespierre's escort. Damn, if we've lost him! Let's not panic just yet. We might be able to find some sign of what happened. Troops from the Paris Commune attacked us en route. They were trying to free the prisoners. Did they take Robespierre? I'm not sure. The fighting left me behind. They fell back that way. Merci. Go find yourself a doctor. Oh. If he's still in custody, they'll have taken oh. him to Luxembourg prison. But if not, they'll need to hole up somewhere nearby. They won't get very far with half the city turned out against Robespierre. I'll check the prison. You follow the riot, see if you can pick up a trail. Right.
just blood. That's right. I'll grind your bone to spite of powder! God, you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. Let's get inside, sir. The convention soldiers will be here soon. Yes, of course. I place myself in your capable hands. Be it known that the Paris commune, by dint of its actions protecting the criminal or this Where are you going? is now an open rebellion you against the, the nation. The Soldiers under the command of the National Convention have been dispatched to apprehend the traitor Hobbes Pierre and his followers. Citizens are advised to remain in their homes while justice is carried out.
Damn him. I sent for Zemma hours ago. Zemma warned me about you. You're one of them, aren't you? An assassin. Not anymore. Where's Germain? Elise. We don't have much time. Where is Germain? I will never talk. Ah! Then right. Ah! 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 The temple. I should have known. I hope you endure revolutionary justice, monsieur. We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll rendezvous inside. If you get a shot at Germa, you take it. Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots.
So the prodigal is sat. The director. How? What? Here. Germain's got some kind of weapon. I've never seen its like before. He got away from me. He didn't come past me. He must still be down there. Revenge! 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 Revenge!
free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Bravo, you've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. To wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. <laughs> 